Tech and retail giant Amazon set to report results next week. Nearly two-thirds of sales come from third-party sellers, most of which are small and medium-sized businesses. Payoneer is one of the fintech firms powering those payments, and CEO John Chap uh, Kaplan joins us here on set. Uh, John, good to have you here. So leading into the holiday season, I was hearing so much from different technology providers about the importance of loyalty and, you know, coming back, getting more payment from those who have already paid. What would you say distinguished this season for those kind of third-party sellers that are operating on Amazon and elsewhere? Yeah, I think it is really important for everybody to understand that Amazon's the world's best marketplace. The world's best marketplace has the best suppliers from around the globe. The sellers that sell on Amazon are in Vietnam, Turkey, China, and around the globe. Those sellers need Amazon to be successful, and they love the platform. The advertising on the platform works. The, d the demand is there. The 3PL, the shipping is effective and works. So what we see, we, had, we did an event this week in China with 1,000 Amazon sellers, Walmart sellers, eBay sellers. There is incredible energy among the SMBs who sell on the world's biggest marketplaces because those marketplaces really work to drive demand for those goods. But what about Shopify, TikTok, Shein, you know, some of these other players that we've seen offering different kinds of challenges to the vertically integrated Amazon? Does this mean that they're not really having an effect? So Shein and TikTok and Temu are incredible platforms, and they will make, give Amazon a run for their money. Because if you're under 30 years old and you're female and you're on TikTok, you're buying beauty products, you're buying apparel products. Those platforms, influencer-driven e-commerce is really working around the globe. Shein, same thing. Shein taking share from the AliExpresses and Wishes of the world so, and the Groupons. They've definitely grabbed share. Temu, the same thing. When, when you think about Shopify, it be, going direct to the consumer is essential for an, an SMB. So an SMB needs to sell on Amazon, needs to sell on Walmart and eBay, needs to try to get distribution through an influencer on TikTok, and certainly needs their own direct-to-consumer business on a Shopify or a big commerce or Shop Laws or any of the sort of dozens of great store hosting platforms around the globe. Mm -hmm. But which way are the winds shifting? It seems to me that a couple years back, I don't remember exactly when it was, when Apple made those iOS changes that changed the economics of Facebook ads in particular and customer acquisition, that's when cracks really started appearing in the D2C model. Yep. And, and a lot of the weaker players started falling by the wayside. Now, with kind of demand growth weakening a bit, some D2C efforts seem to be losing steam. So am I wrong about no, that? You're, you're, I think the rich get richer on Amazon. If you're, good at, if you're good at Amazon and you know how to price and market, have product variation, you can sell a ton of product on Amazon. If you're on Shopify and you have a Shopify store, you need to be an expert online marketer to acquire customers. In order to acquire customers, you need loyalty. You need products that you can repeat sell because the, you know, the return on ad spend, the ROAS, you need to be able to sell 3x the cost to acquire a customer on that first order in order to make the return on ad spend work. Mm -hmm. So what we see with our sellers around the globe, the best sellers are multi-channel. They're getting sophisticated about buying advertising on Facebook, on Google, on Amazon or Walmart or other platforms. They're connecting to influencers to be on TikTok. To, uh, to be on Instagram, to try to get people remarketing their products for them. Just D to C on Shopify, not enough. So is it getting too complicated? Because Shopify was supposed to simplify so that you could do all these things yourself. You can sit at your yeah, computer, I got totally. my website, yeah. I can distribute on Amazon, all these other places. But now you've got all these different factors affecting, you've got the economic shifting. Can the smaller of the small businesses afford to play in all those lanes, or do they just go with Amazon? Yeah, I, I, I think... Uh, it is not a get-rich-quick scheme of selling products online, and you got to be close to the manufacturing to have enough m margin in order to buy the advertising and, and support the logistics. So I do not th I think we're in a new era, and the era now is it's sophisticated small businesses. Mm -hmm. You know, million-dollar-plus GMV businesses can be successful. Just doing it as a side hustle from your garage, unlikely to get enough volume to feed your family. Is Prime getting any less powerful with its payment capabilities and its now local distribution uh, kind of fueling same-day and one-day delivery? 
Yeah, I, if you just track by the packages coming to my front door every day, Prime is, you know, an extraordinary loyalty program, only more powerful day after day.